Hello guys, welcome to Reeling-Academy.com. With you, helps you learn more effectively. And that's why I make this video to help the Reeling guys master accumulator borrowed usable fluid volume calculation. This is for surface BOP. I'll make another one for subsea BOP later. This topic is quite a fundamental topic. However, it is also useful for guys taking a well control course to take a quick review. Guarantee you in 10 15 minutes watching video, you master how to work out the, the usable fluid volume of a surface BOP control system. We know that the Kumi unit or the accumulator system has many barrels. In this example, we just take example of one bottle, the calculation on one barrel, and then you just times up the numbers of the bottles to get the final value for your whole system. All right, we have three states. The first state is called the pre-charge state. We will fill up the bottle with pre-charge pressure with nitrogen, all right? Nitrogen is pumped into the bottle. This is the gray part is nitrogen. We pump it up into the bottle to the pre-charge pressure. And state number two is after we pre-charge with nitrogen, we will pump the hydraulic fluid into the bottle. The bottle at, the, at this time is being filled with nitrogen and now we continue charge hydraulic fluid into the bottle to, to the maximum system working pressure. In this example, we take 3000 psi as the maximum system working pressure. So this fluid is pumped into the bottle. It takes more space in here and the volume of the nitrogen is compressed. Reduce. And the third state is when we perform the drawdown test to determine the MOP of the accumulator models. MOP is short for minimum operating pressure. When we perform a drawdown test, we turn all the pumps off, or we or we uh, we stop. The power supply to the pump systems, right? So we function the BOP. The fluid, the hydraulic fluid, is discharged to function the BOP. Because of that, the pressure in the bottle is reduced. It will be reduced down to minimum operating pressure. Inside of the bottle now, you will have some left fluid left, and you have the volume of nitrogen expanded because the pressure is reduced. At this state, the pressure and the volume of both the gas and fluid vary. They vary from state to state. The, fi the final question is, what is the usable fluid volume of accumulator bottom? That's the one that we have to find the answer. So let's go through this process. This example gives you 10 gallon bottle, all right? And we pre-charge. The bottle with nitrogen to 1000 psi. This is what is given. All right, now we pump nitrogen into the bottle. The volume, whole volume of the bottle is taken by nitrogen. So the volume of the nitrogen is 10 gallon. The pressure of the nitrogen now is 1000 psi at state number one. Now, state number two, we continue after we charge, we continue to charge the fluid into the bottle which is being filled up with nitrogen now now we charge the fluid into it until it reaches 3000 psi in this example we we take 3000 psi as the system working pressure so inside the bottle now there is both gas nitrogen which is compressed and then hydraulic fluid the pressure inside the bottle now is all around 3000 psi so the pressure of the gas, which is nitrogen now, is 3,000 psi. By the Boyle's law, we know that the, the volume of the gas will be reduced. This visual demonstrates that already. So the equation will be V gas 1 times P gas 1 equals V gas 2 times P gas 2. So 10 times 1,000 equals V gas 2, which is the volume of the nitrogen at this state, which is being compressed here times the pressure of the gas now is 3000 psi. 
So we take 10,000 divided by 3,000, we will have 3.3. .3. This is the volume of the gas at this moment after the system is fully charged. So we take the borrow volume, which is 10 gallon, divide, uh, deduct minus the 3.3 .3 gallon, which is the volume of the nitrogen, we will have 6.7. This is the volume of the fluid in here, this volume here is the fluid at the fully charged state. Now we come into the third state, which is after the drawdown test. How to perform a drawdown test? Please refer to the IPI 53S 5th edition. It will tell you step-by-step -step procedure how to adequately perform a drawdown test for surface BOP. And don't confuse between the surface stack and the subsea stack because by confusing, you will get all wrong. All right, and just in brief, drawdown test is what? You just turn off the pump or you discontinue the power supply to the pump system and you function the VOPs to get the final pressure reading of the accumulator which is left in the system. So by API 53S, 5th edition, and API 16D, 3rd edition, these are the latest editions, the final accumulator pressure must be at least equal to minimum operating pressure. Again, how to work out minimum operating pressure of a system? Please refer to API 16D, 3rd edition. All right, and remember, MOP varies from well to well, system to system. In this example, let's make up a mock figure of MOP 1200 PSI. So after we perform drawdown test, we have 1200 PSI left in the bottle. That is the pressure of the gas. That's also the pressure of the fluid left inside the bottle. So we have P gas free now 1200 PSI. Right? So we by the Boyle's law, we know that pressure reduced volume will increase. We know that V gas free will be increased. So the equation is V gas free times P gas free equals V gas two times P gas two. So 3.3 3 times 3000 equals V gas free times 1200. So we work out V gas free equals 8.3 gallon here by this equation. And we take 10 gallon bottle, deduct 8.3 gallon, of the gas, we have 1.7 gallon left. This is the volume of the fluid in here, 1.7 gallon. So from the first state, a pre-charge fully filled up with nitrogen to the second state, fully charged to system working pressure, some fluid, some nitrogen to the third state after drawdown test, we will have to work out usable fluid volume. It is defined as the differential volume of fluid between the fully charged state and the minimum operating pressure state. So we take the V fluid as state number three, minor deduct the V fluid as state number two. We have 6.7 minus 1.3 equals to 5.4 gallon. That's the usable volume of the hydraulic fluid for this system. All right, guys, I hope that you guys did enjoy and get some useful information out of this video. Again, if you want to make a clarification or would like me to make more explanation about API 53S and API 16D, please feel free to drop me an email or a note at my personal email address as in here or just await for my next video to get down to how to work out MOP and how to perform drawdown test. See you soon and thank you. Bye.